What's up guys? I'm Shane and welcome back to the Relegation League. We got our rivalry game against UTEP this week and unfortunately the only prospect ready to visit is Trenton Nash, but at least we're running away with him. Now I'm hoping we get a blowout going here because he needs deflections and interceptions and whatnot and uh, we don't get those normally, but if I simulate it, we'll get a ton. So if we can repeat what we did in New Mexico, th that'd be perfect. Otherwise, the rest of the board, uh, Wilkerson and Hall are the only two that give me any concern. Michigan State is not going after them, but they have them on the board, and they're, both their bonuses are like 400, so we're like barely gaining a lead. But they're not paying any mind to them right now. They're not the greatest prospects, so if we don't get them, we don't get them. Everyone else here down the board, like we're running away. And if you look at the bonus points you can see that we're gaining 535 over everyone, meaning he, like, none of these people are on anyone's board. So all we're doing is gaining. So it's just a matter of time, as long as no one else sort of goes after him. And the only other thing, it, Chad Chapman here, the 70 overall tackle, looks like Troy wants to go after him. But I found David Smith here. He's a 65 overall prospect, but he's a plus 7 gem. So I'm just going to switch it up and give him my points instead, instead of fighting a losing battle. The other thing I was looking at, so championship contenders, yeah, we're, we're creeping around here. We're up to a C plus, so pretty good turnaround so far. And looking at Kansas here, so they're number three right now. They lost early. They lost to UMass, actually. Climbing back up in the top 25, and then 1-2-1. One, one. So for them, that rebuild is going phenomenally. UMass looks like we're finally about to hit that drop-off point. So they're number 14. They've already lost twice. Then 34, 31, 40. So definitely falling off from where we had them, but this is going to be... However many years out since we played as them, we're five years? Yeah, this is year five of us not controlling them, and they're just finally starting to dip. But even then, they're still going to stay in that 34 to 40 range. Which, for UMass, is great, because right now they're probably the worst team in NCAA. So let's say they were number 126 in here. I've, just by building them up for that four-year stretch, we've raised them 90 positions, pretty much. I think the people in Amherst would be perfectly happy with being around the level of, like, a Baylor. I think that's fine. But let's shift our focus to UTEP. I'm not going to sleep on them. This is the best they're going to be, though. They're going to fall from this overall down to the worst team. So, apparently, they're just all seniors. So, let's, uh, let's send them out properly. They're pressing on Concepcion. I wonder if I can just get out the gate with a big play here. I'm going to try it. That was a mistake. Double coverage. At least I didn't pick it. All right, well, Boone getting the first down. Oh, my God. I just called the counterplay just for the sake of a run. This is going big. Can't spin out of there, but still a 32-yarder for McMahon. He's already probably the best running back we've ever had in the relegation league. Like, I know Bates is doing good on the sim, but from what we're controlling, I mean, McMahon is just putting in work. Those downfield blocks. Oh my god, we can just block these guys. No spin here for Smith either. Should have taken that out of bounds, but we're fine. Boomed with another nice catch. And an easy rushing touchdown for Matt Smith. Oh, that man coverage failed. Uh oh. They've been no. digging and dunking us the whole time. That was a big one. Everything else has been like five yards, five yards. Also, fun thing I learned about Hutchinson, because I've never really paid attention to a lot of their stats. He's got 90 speed, 94 excel. Which is why he gets back there that quickly. Okay, so we just, we can't defend them when they run left for some reason. And we encroached. Which is only a one-yard penalty, so it's okay. And that's it. Yeah. Mm. Dang. Oh, my God. <laughs> Denman fumbled it. And McMahon scooped it up and fell forward for seven. Uh, again, I'll take this. That wasn't a slide, but thanks for trying. There's a nice pass to Lee. He left his corner in the dust.
Boom. Oh my god, Lee, he's just been dominating this drive. 34 yarder for him to end the quarter. And Boone, oh, he can't quite get in. But the read option, McMahon does. Nice draw play. Oh, I'm glad I picked up Thompson. Oh, wait, he broke off me. Oh, God. That almost worked out perfectly, but he broke off me, and then I bystander glitched the second guy I switched to. But it was almost a really good prediction. Another draw. Come on, Howard. They give him the first. Of course they do. Oh, beautiful SWAT. We don't get credit for a SWAT, though. And he got wide open. Whoop, whoop, okay. That's only our second TFL today. This is why I hate calling blitzes. Like, we, we're we just not going to stop him today. We just have to get lucky. Mm. I, I don't understand where everyone goes. Like, there are people lined up over there, and they disappear when they run the ball. Does everyone just instinctively run at the center? Ah, Lee with the drop. McMahon not with the drop, though. Oh, I was trying to truck someone who was no longer there. McMahon obviously not a player I recruited. I'm wondering if he was an athlete. Because his hands are really good. No, apparently not. He's just a really good receiving back. Alright, got this on the goal line. I'm going to try and chew out some of this clock, though. Take away a possession from them, since our defense can't seem to do anything. No, well, they stopped us. Never mind. So we'll just do halfback dive, get McMahon another touchdown. End of the first half, up 21-14 over UTEP. Oh god, Duncan, where were you going? Oh, thanks for uh, not tackling him, but instead shoving him in the other direction where none of the defenders are. Appreciate it. Oh, hey, the blitz worked. For once. Oh my god, the fumble. Duncan falls out. Oh my god, please let that stand. We need that break. Yeah, he was down. <sighs> Barely. Yeah, he was down. He's just in the backfield and everyone ran past him. Like, oh, that's right. He's been running the ball all day. Mm. And in with no effort. There you go, Matt Smith. Use that speed. Hold that block. Hold that block. And the rushing touchdown. What? I don't know how you make your coffee. Did you seriously just interrupt the most exciting play of the game because you wanted coffee? It's okay. It's okay. Get out of my office. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. This is also my bedroom. Get out of my office. No! <laughs> Not to go get my own coffee. I'm sitting there like, why do I feel so tired? Because the mother who made me breakfast didn't give me coffee. Count. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna sim this defensive drive. I want to see if the computer does better. Plus, this uh, video's runtime is gonna start getting out of control if I have to play everything. Yeah, look, no problem. The computer stopped, and no problem. I don't know what's going on. Like a three and out. All right, let's just get some points on the board here, and we can just get out of this. Ah, oh, Concepcion drops it. Usually his hands are more reliable than that. Oh, that was like wide open for me and then it wasn't. You know what? This is frustrated, Shane. We're just going to go for it. It's fourth and nine from midfield and I don't care. Because honestly, I was so committed to running the ball right off the bat. I think I had a receiver wide open. And that time I did not. And there we go. We got to stop on our own. All right, so that three and out doesn't hurt us. Apparently, the answer was just like bringing in some blitzes on first down. It spooked him. 
There we go, Lee. Back in form. I'm not necessarily worried about like getting the SWATs and everything to impress the recruit because we need it desperately. I would just like to free up those recruiting points. That's all. Ah, thank you, Boone. Hold the blocks. And Matt Smith gets in for another rushing touchdown. And we got about two minutes left, but yeah, 159. That should pretty much seal it for us. Defense gave up a 53-yard pass and then a 20-yard run. Or no, another 20-yard pass. Okay. So good job, defense. Oh my god. And they just recovered the onside because my hands team can't catch the ball. Third and one here. Dang it, he came right underneath me. That was my zone. What is with you, Tap? Like, what the hell? The only upside is they left us 48 seconds, so we got all three timeouts. But what is happening today? Oh my god, how are you going to leave a single high safety when we are, like, trying to move down the field quickly? And just like that, 53 yarder Concepcion with his usual big play, field goal range. Let's just not screw up this last 30 seconds. That's fine, I kind of didn't want to score a touchdown there anyways. No, that's all. I was trying to go for the stats, that's fine. Oh no, they iced us. Oh no, we hit that dead center, and we still win. But good god, it should not have been that close. I can't believe we didn't recover that onside. I mean, if you guys hate defense, this was the game for you. But this should not have been this close. Smith, player of the game. Obviously, that's just what he does. Final stats on the day. Matt Smith, 15-22, 253 yards. No touchdowns, no picks, no sacks. Rushing, 15 for 134 on the ground with three touchdowns from Matt Smith. And then McMahon had four for 38 and two touchdowns. Pretty good ratio for him, honestly. Receiving Lee had six for 92, Boone had four for 49, Jackson two for 19, McMahon had two for 40, and Concepcion that one for 53 that put us right in field goal range for the end. Phil Jackson getting a pancake today, too. Defense, Howard led the team nine tackles, constantly a beast for him. Five TFLs, but no sacks. We had no picks. We got the one pass deflection. Not enough to impress the recruit, but at least we got the victory. All right, let's move on to game two, which hopefully will uh, go a lot smoother. All right, we're just jumping into this one because that last game was so close and definitely took up some time. So I'm going to try and cut some here. Uh, we got a couple people in to visit right now. We've got a linebacker. We've got one of the athletes who's a defensive lineman, and we've got that Juco left tackle. So 250 passing, 100 rushing, and then some sacks and TFLs from the linebackers and uh, defensive line. Nothing I'm really too concerned about. Hopefully it just comes with the natural game, and we're pretty evenly matched up with BYU. So this one deserves to be a shootout. Oh my god, no one covered Lee on that. It's like they were confused. It's like, wait, he was just on the left side. Now he's on the right. How did this happen? All right, well, we didn't get any blocks, but I still pick up seven on that. That's not bad. Oh, God. I didn't see that free blitzer. But that's all right. Lee on Z spot. He picks up all of it and then a little bit extra. And again, we're still not holding any blocks. Guys, this offensive lineman is not going to be very impressed if we can't get any rushing yards. Which I don't understand. He should be more impressed. He'd be like, hey, we, we need you. You're going to have to march right in here and be the best offensive lineman we got. That safety just keeps coming up. He's, he's really aggravating. And they are faster than me. So I only pick up four. We're only going to get a field goal here. Okay, Gore just ran into the guy who's already getting blocked. Like, instead of just running around him, he tried to run in a straight line through. Oh, 
Okay, well, that's how today is going to go. Good job, on that. Good job, Howard. Great coverage. And there's a sack. All right, well, that'll help out with that defensive lineman. Deep shot. Come on, Malone. Give me credit for pass deflection. Nope, of course not. Why would I get credit? And they missed the field goal, luckily. All right, let's see if we can get this drive put together. Oh, he's uh, he's more agile than I give him credit for. All right. Let's take that to Boone. All right, well, we got a garbage animation and picked up the first. Drive still alive. Phil Jackson wide open. I know he's playing at tight end, but he's still a receiver. You still got to treat him as such. What did I just say about Phil Jackson? <laughs> what did I just say? You got to respect the Zen master. Oh my god, that got right through to Gant. I thought that was about to be a pick six going the other way, but just barely. That's and just like that, that's a two possession lead. Like, I don't know how. I don't a two possession lead. Like, I don't know how. I don't know how that that should not have that should have been a pick. That was a pick. I got lucky. I'll take it. They put together a pretty good drive, but they only got a field goal out of it. So, good job, defense. Oh my god, the blocks. Denman is going to get caught here, but oh my god, the blocks. Great field position for us. Unfortunately, we need some yards, but it's fine. It's only the second quarter. There's a nice run. That's nine yards right there. Give it one more shot. Go aggressive blocking here. Perfect. All right, I got greedy with the runs. Nope. Phil Jackson again, breaking tackles. He takes that drag for 14. Oh, good God. He missed that one tackler. He managed to get around and pick it up eight on that run. Unfortunately, Matt Smith is not getting those same blocks, but he still makes positive yards. Oh, McMahon, after I complimented you in the last game, you drop an easy touchdown. Man, he fights his way in for a rushing touchdown, though, so he still gets in the end zone. Now we're going to go up 17-3. Thank you! What just happened? Gore just took a fumble back for a touchdown. Okay. <laughs> okay, defense. Where was this last episode? Or not the last episode, but the last game. All right, well, they just made a 50-yard field goal to end the half. So we're still up 24-6 going into the half. Defense got another stop. It, it, I don't I don't understand. I'm not gonna, I don't want to jinx it. I got to work on the yards, though. So Denman, just don't fumble it. This would be the time. Yeah, I was about to say, this is the time where he'll start getting some good returns. Big catch by Lee. There we go. Yeah, I got to start picking up some yards. So 159. We still need 90 more yards passing. And we only got like 50 yards rushing. McMahon, another drop. Come on. I didn't put it on conservative catch today. That's what I did. Welp. Yeah, I gave up on that whole not using conservative catch thing because um, I got to maximize having Matt Smith. I'm gonna go for four verts again, though. I don't. I don't think it's gonna go. As, oh wait, there goes that blitz. There's that conservative catch. There we go, McMahon. Phil Jackson in another drag. He's still dangerous, and he gets in for a touchdown, further extending that lead. I mean, like I said, now I'm pretty sure we got this game in hand. Let's get these yards. They're on a mission here. There we go. They got their touchdown. But good God, everything was just like 20-yard chunks on that drive. Oh. 
Uh, Phil Jackson got caught up in that animation there. Yeah, they didn't waste any time capitalizing on that. Dang it. Phil Jackson was, I mean, if he hadn't got caught up on a defender, that could have been a pretty nice uh, catch, but oh well. That time he didn't get caught up. See, that's what I was expecting last time. Oh, dang. They're finally a running lane for Smith. I'm going to try something funky here. I'm going to put Phil Jackson on a streak on this slants play. Now, actually, if I'd thrown that, the like, if I had led him to the outside, that would have been a touchdown. Here comes that blitz. And, oh, it got there. Damn, did that take me out of field goal range, too? It sure did. Darn it. And just like that, it's a five-point game now. All right, I got to get back and focus on this game because the computer is not playing that well on defense, apparently. I'm just, I'm running for a few yards here and there. Sorry, I'm like actually focused right now. Try not to do commentary. Try not to screw it up. Oh, Young with the rare reception. He's picking up the first. Oh my God, McMahon with a huge run. That gives us 100 rushing yards. That's all we needed. And Lee getting the passing touchdown. All right, that'll give us a double-digit lead again. Let's hope we make quick work here, because I still want to try and get some more passing yards, get that 250. So good news, they made quick work. Bad news, um, we got it at the 20. And we still need 33 yards. So you know what? I'm going to take a couple delay of penalty, <laughs> delay of yards, or uh, delay of games to get some more yards up in here. They have no timeouts. If I really screw it up, I can just like take a knee and that'll be the end of the game. Oh no, I took a sack. Wait a second. I think that took us out of a uh, crap. Okay, luckily we still have exactly 100 rushing yards, so no more sacks here. Just no more. We can't do it again. There's a good chunk. 24, so we only need nine more. We All we have to do is uh, get a touchdown here, and we got our 250. And there it is. <laughs> Barely. Literally at the last second, but we got our 250, and I'm pretty sure we still got our 100. Oh, I know that looked a little sketchy near the end, especially when it got down to just a five-point lead, but there was a reason for that. You know, it, it, it was me trying to get these yards, trying to impress this recruit, because... We're about to lose 500 recruiting points next week. So I'm trying to, if I can get someone to sign, I don't think we can. But even if I got to reduce points on people, that's all, I'm, that's all I'm worried about. So the final stats today. Matt Smith, 17 to 26, 251 yards, four touchdowns, a pick. He took four sacks, so we could not scramble around like we wanted to today. Rushing, yeah, Smith only had 32 yards on the ground. McMahon had 70, though, with a touchdown. And Denman had one for negative two. Thanks for playing. Receiving Phil Jackson, 6 for 73 and a touchdown. Lee at 6 for 99, two touchdowns. McMahon at 2 for 40. Young, 1 for 10. Gant had 1 for 21 and a touchdown that I still can't believe he caught. And Boone had 1 for 8. All right, defense. McBride with 7 tackles. Gore having 5. We did not manage to impress anyone because we only had 3 total TFLs from the defensive line. We needed 4. 1 sack. We needed 2. And no TFLs from our linebackers. Oh, but you know, we had five pass deflections this week when I didn't need them. Thanks, guys. But Gord scooped up that fumble and ran it back for a touchdown. So, forced it, recovered it, scored. Thank you. Denman with 147 yards on kick returns. His best outing of the season when I didn't want him to get all those yards. But, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please be sure to hit like down below. If you want to see more from me, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell to get it delivered directly to your inbox every single time I upload. Any thoughts, suggestions, whatever you may have, leave all that down in the comments section below. Everything you leave down there, I will always respond to, unless you are the trolliest of trolls. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Shane. I'm out.